Hey guys, how's it going? It is Friday. Friday, let me do a thumbnail. There you go. So listen, it's Friday and I'm sitting here at work. I did not think I was gonna do another video this weekend, but here I am. I'm sitting here at work. I had to stop by here for a little bit and you're gonna hear the air conditioner running in the video. I apologize for that, but I'm not cutting that air conditioner off. Y'all, it's Alabama. It's summer. And I think the heat index today is like 109. Why? Why? I don't know what the actual temperature is supposed to be today, but the heat index, I do know, said 109. Mm -mm. No. I hate summer, y'all. I hate summer. I hate the heat. I just don't like it. I'm ready for fall to get here. I just, if we could just bypass summer, that would be fine with me. That'd be fine with Garrett, too. He loves school. He hates being out of school. He doesn't like being out for holidays. He doesn't like it being out when he's sick. He doesn't like he doesn't like being out of school. He would go to school 365 days a year if they would let him. So, in my household, we can just move right on to fall. Not Eric though. He hates the cold. He said he'd rather be hot than cold. Weirdo. Mm -mm. I hate being hot. And it's not just because I'm fat. If I was skinny, I would still hate the heat. I don't I don't like to be hot. I don't. So anyway, it's Friday and we've been out and about today. Um last night I'll show you how wishy washy teenagers are. Last night Garrett said are we doing anything tomorrow? I said, I don't think so. We don't have any plans. I said, I've got to go to work for a little bit, just for about 30 minutes. I said, other than that, we don't have anything planned. And he was like, so that means we've got to sit in the house all day. I said, well, we don't have to. I said, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Remember, he's laid up with a broken ankle. I said, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I said, Daddy's got to work evening shift so we could go have lunch with Dad. He can go to work. And I said, I've got some errands to run. You can run around with me, enjoy the ride. I said, or I'll take you anywhere you want to go. So he didn't say anything after that. So this morning, after we all got up, we said, let's go get some lunch. I said, I've got errands to run. We'll do that. So, it was late when we went. It, we didn't leave till like 12.30, which is late for us. Um, so, we went and ate lunch, and I was talking about running my errands. Well, right after we ate lunch, Garrett said, I'm ready to go home. I want to go home. Can we just go home? So, one day, the boy don't want to sit in the house, and then the next day, he wants to go home. That's a teenager for you. But I did run my errands. I had to go to the post office for work. Um, I have not, I still have to go to Walmart. I have not been to Walmart yet. I've just got to get, what do I have to get? Oh, dryer sheets. I have laundry to do today and I'm out of dryer sheets. I've got to get dryer sheets and cat food and face cleaning wipes to take makeup off deodorant, shaving cream, you know, all the basics. Just got to run in and get a few things. But I did pick up a few things on my errands and I thought I'd share them with y'all. I had to go by my jewelry lady's house to pick up some things. Um, sorry for the noise. Well, good gracious. I had to pick up Along with jewelry, she also sells these earring holders. I already have two. <laughs> this is my third one. Aren't those cute? Or aren't, isn't this cute? I um, 
Yeah, I already have two. This is my third one. And I still have a drawer full of earrings. But on these, I put my colorful acrylic earrings on. My cute earrings. Um, and then I set this on my dresser. So, yeah, I already have two on my dresser. And this is my third one. And speaking of cute, colorful acrylic, acrylic earrings, I did get some earrings from her this week. These cute little hot pink flowers. Aren't those adorable? Y'all know I have some hot pink shirts, so I had to get those. And then I got a cute little um, tie-dye headband. Um, and it's actually like t-shirt material. And I have some t-shirts that this will match. So I got that from her as well. And speaking of hot pink, look at this little purse. Isn't it cute? It is patent leather, hot pink patent leather little handbag. It's a small little handbag. I couldn't resist it. It does have a long handle with it too, but um, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use the little the little handles as a handbag has the feet is that not adorable it was hot pink y'all and then I also had to stop by one of our local salons um, it's a girl at church she has a salon and um, it's not where I get my hair done but the girl who does my, my friend who does my hair she does not sell Kenra products and um, I use the Kenra root lifting spray. So I had to pick up some of that because I was out. But also at my jewelry lady's house, her sister makes t-shirts. And so I got a new t-shirt for the 4th of July for this year. Isn't that cute? Too bad it's not hot pink. It would match, those flowers would match my flower earrings. But that's my new little shirt for, for this year's fourth. I thought it was super cute. So I had to get it. And also, when I go to my jewelry lady's house, I have to pass by one of my favorite stores, Two Teas in a Pod. I've showed y'all some things from there before. So I went in there. Had not planned on going in there, but I went in there. And I didn't go in there to buy anything. I just wanted to say hey to the owner, because she's a friend, and I just wanted to say hey. But, you know, things caught my eye. So I got this adorable picture. Look at that, y'all. Is that not so cute? And then I bought a piece of greenery to put in it. She has flowers and all kinds of uh, fake flowers and greenery that you can stick in things. So I just could not pass that up. And y'all, it's not white. It's like a gray color, um, which matches my house perfectly. And I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. I just, I just saw it and wanted it. So I'm gonna find somewhere to put it. But I just thought it was so cute. And I loved the color. I loved that it wasn't white. So, those are my little, oh. And I also have a Stanley dupe. I had purchased a Stanley dupe from one of my friend's boutiques here in town. And I bought this color. And when I used it for the first time, I put my ice and my water in it, and within an hour, I I was running errands and going to get my nails done. So within an hour, my ice was melted, and my drink was hardly cold. Um, and I was like, "That's not right." So and it was insulated. It was a Stanley dude. So um, so anyway, I was like, "I can't use this if it's not going to keep my ice frozen." Or my drink cold so I was about to buy a new one and I was gonna I had decided I was gonna get one from Timu 
Um, and my friend texted me and she said, if that cup doesn't work, she said, I've ordered some more and I've ordered them from a different vendor. So she said, bring me that cup and pick you up a new one and try it. So I picked up my new cup today. So I've got to take it home and wash it and try it out. So hopefully this one will work. If it doesn't, I will get one from Timu because I've heard that those work. So anyway, those are my funsies for today. So what are y'all doing for the 4th? We are supposed to be going to the lake tomorrow with our friends. Um, and I think we're doing a worship night tomorrow night. Um, I love doing those with our friends. They're so good. And what a better place to have a worship night than the lake. Really? So we'll probably ride the boat. And then we're also going back on Sunday. We were supposed to go to my dad's. But we're going back to the lake on Sunday because it's my friend's birthday and we're celebrating her birthday at the lake. So, we'll be at the lake this weekend, which will be good because then Tuesday on the 4th, we won't have any plans and I can just rest. I'm hoping I won't have to stay all day at work Monday, but anyway. So I'm fixing to leave here and go to Walmart and get my things and go home. But I want to show y'all something on my way home. And I'm hoping when I pull out of here that there won't be a car behind me. I've been wanting to show y'all this for a while. But the way the house sits on this road, I can't slow down and I can't take a picture. I can't pull over to do a video. It's so hard, but y'all, the church where I work, the road that it's on, there's a house that has a garden, and so they put a scarecrow in their garden. Y'all, I'm not scared of scarecrows. Who's scared of a scarecrow? Only the crows, right? But y'all, when I saw this thing for the first time, it freaked me out. And I want y'all to see it. And I'm hoping that y'all will be able to see it. It won't be close up. I don't have a close up picture that I can show y'all. But I'm going to try to video as I'm driving past. And like I said, I hope nobody will be behind me so that I can go slow. And I'll try to zoom in. I don't know if I'll be able to. But y'all, this is, it's creepy. It's creepy. And when y'all see it, you will know. It's facing the road now. It was facing the garden with its head down, which made it even more creepy. Well, now it's facing the road with its arm up, and it's still creepy. So, hold on a second, and I'm going to see if I can get this video for y'all. Okay, so I've zoomed in my camera a little bit, hoping that y'all will be able to see it. Y'all can just enjoy the scenery. This is my drive every day to work. It's such a pretty road. Lots of trees and the sun shining through. But anyway, it, and there's no cars behind me, so. I wish I could put on some scary music or do an up close picture of it, but it's such an odd place in the road. It's on a curve. And you can't tell if somebody's coming up behind you. But I'm going to try to go slow. And I hope they're not going to be outside. Because I don't want them to see me filming it. So, stand by. behind me so that's good we're almost there okay I'm gonna try to slow down shoot they're outside all right there 
it is, y'all. There she is. Did y'all see that? Hold on a second because I'm going to turn the camera around. And I certainly don't want to scare y'all by being close up. Okay, y'all. That was the scarecrow. It's a mannequin. A white mannequin with a bright orange dress on, black hair. Y'all, the first time I saw that, it creeped me out because they had it, they had her standing with her head down. It was just creepy. I was like, are you kidding me? I've wanted to show y'all that for so long and I'm glad I finally got the chance. It's, oh my word, it was an experience. Oh, a friend from church lives down here and I texted her um, the first day I saw it and I said uh, I said did you see the scarecrow on your way to work she's like she said yes and it creeped me out so anyway well I'm on my way home and no 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 I'm on my way to Walmart to get my stuff and then I've got to do some laundry so, I'm going to let y'all guys go. I hope every one of you have a safe and happy 4th of July. And I will talk to y'all guys on the next video. God bless.